This is breaking news. We're following breaking news out of Spokane County as a fire burns near Fish Trap and Amber Lake. The fire was moving north and east of the lake. There is a level three evacuation, which means get out now. The boundaries for that are on the north, Lance Hill Road and Phillips Road. On the south, Scroggy Road. The east boundary is Dover and Sterling with the west boundary at Pine Springs. The level two evacuation, which means get ready, is bordered on the north at West Baker. The east at South Griffin Road and the West at Tyler. State fire assistance has been mobilized under the Washington State Fire Services Resource Mobilization Plan. This at the request of Spokane County Fire District number three. 100 residences and an unknown number of outbuildings are threatened by the fire. Five strike teams have been ordered, 25 engines and five water tenders to assist resources already on the scene. The State Emergency Operations Center at Camp Murray has been activated to phase two. The Fire Protection Bureau will now take control of fighting the Watermelon Hill fire. KXLY Force Katie Curry is live at the scene. Uh, Katie, what's going on out there? Well, Aaron, people with those level three evacuations, which means get out now, now have a place to go. I'm here with Jerry Bozarth, who's going to give us a little more information on that. Um, the shelter currently is going to be open at 10 p.m. tonight. It's at the Cheney Middle School. It's at 2716 North 6th Street. And if you have livestock or you have horses that need uh, shelter, and also you can go to the Cheney Rodeo Grounds. They, they have opened those rodeo grounds for those, uh, those animals. And you told me earlier that Alert Spokane has now been activated. What is it? What exactly does that mean? Alert Spokane is actually a, a reverse 911 system. So the residents in the area that was targeted for these evacuations have been notified of a level three or a level two alert uh, to either be ready to get out or actually need to leave and find a shelter right now. And you said that the fire is sitting at between five and six thousand acres. Um, Tell me a little bit more about the containment. What's what's going on with that? Well, currently they're in the planning stages of, of figuring out exactly where to attack the fire. It, I mean, they are they are attempting to contain it right now with uh, approximately 200 firefighters on the line, and uh, it's 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 a constant battle that they are uh, going to be waging overnight to uh, protect structures and make sure that they can uh, you know save lives and and property. And what should people sitting in level two be doing to prepare if they have to leave their homes? If you're in level, level two right now, you need to make sure that you have your, your uh, family and your pets and, and important documents and possibly pictures and whatever you feel is important, ready to go in, and possibly even in your car. And uh, if they tell you that you need to leave, it's now a level three. You need to move and be very quick about it. All right, Aaron, and again, we're going to continue to update people on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and on KXY.com. We'll go ahead and send it back to you. All right, thank you, Katie. Let's toss it over to Alyssa Donovan now in the Weather Center for more on what these firefighters are dealing with as far as wind and weather conditions. Well, Aaron, those winds are actually starting to die down. Still 21 miles per hour out of the southwest in Spokane. We were seeing westerly winds throughout the day. Those are starting to shift to southwest winds, uh, so that's going to make a difference. Looking a little closer to where those uh, fires are burning, th those are starting to die down as well. You saw about uh, 23 miles per hour near Fish Trap, 22 miles miles per hour near Gabe and 21 miles per hour near East Cheney. Those are starting to drop off. They're going to be in the teens shortly, uh, just in the next couple hours here. And you can see we do have some smoke moving into the area right now, and we're going to continue seeing that as that fire burns. We're going to have smoke hanging over the area for Spokane and much of the surrounding cities. Looking ahead, we have uh, some showers coming our way, uh, and temperatures are going to drop off as well. But due to those winds, we are going to see those winds start dropping off, rather, uh, 5 to 15 miles per hour starting tomorrow or starting tonight excuse me we're going to start seeing those winds drop off 5 to 15 miles per hour out of the southwest which should help these firefighters out quite a bit Aaron and thank you for that Alyssa good to know this fire started in Lincoln County the sheriff there tells KXY4 there are reports of a group of men target shooting in the area and that they fled the area very quickly when the fire started they're not being blamed for the fire but the sheriff office wants to talk with those men they were three to four men in their 20s driving a yellow Dodge pickup if you have any information you're asked to call the Lincoln County Sheriff at 509-725-3501 once again we're following breaking news out of West Spokane County 
as the fire burns near Fish Trap and Amber Lake. The fire has been moving north and east with the winds, but like Alyssa said, those winds are changing. There is a level three evacuation, which means get out now. The boundaries for that are on the north, Lance Hill Road and Phillips Road. To the south, Scroggy Road. The east boundary is Dover and Sterling with the west boundary at Pine Springs. The level two evacuation, which means get ready, is bordered on the north at West Baker, the east at South Griffin Road, and the west at Tyler. The fire has burned 5,000 acres at this point. Air tankers have been ordered for structure protection. The fire is growing rapidly thanks to heavy winds. For all the latest news, follow KXOY online, on Facebook, and on Twitter. We'll keep you updated with as much as we have as quickly as possible.